Hey friend, just wanted to tell you about three really helpful websites for songwriters. The first one is related to lyrics and that is thesaurus.com. That's right, just a thesaurus. This is a lyricist's best friend because you can find better, more evocative, more precise words rather than sticking with maybe the boring words that you originally started with. It's really common for us to start with words that we more commonly use that aren't so vivid, such as, say, sad. But if you search for something like sad, you'll get much, much better words such as bitter, dismal, mournful, somber, wistful. These are all more precise, better words to use. Sticking with lyrics for a moment, another really helpful website for writing lyrics is the relatedwords.org website. This website is fantastic for creating your related word sheet. In fact, for me, when I create a related word sheet, which by the way, if you don't know what that is, I'll throw a link to that video I have about that in the description and I'll throw it in the card up above as well. But really when I make a related word sheet, I'm effectively just typing in my word at the top. So let's say beach, for example, and then finding all the words that I like that are related to it and writing that down in the sheet. So you get some awesome words that also evoke sort of a beach-like imagery like boardwalk, along shore, waterfront, lagoon, sand, dune, causeway, coast, coastline, cove, other great words like that. And then finally, we have musica.com slash drum machine, or if you prefer, you can also use drumbit.app. I use both. I really like the look of drumbit.app a little bit better. There's just something about it that makes me excited to make music, but the one at musica.com does have more options. So for the drumbit one, you mostly have some sort of generic drum beats. Then you have a jazz one, a hip hop beatbox, house, drum and bass, dubstep, Indian, Latin, and some other ones. For both, you can control the beats per minute, but for the Musica one, you have more options. There are over six pop rock beats for you to improvise with. There are several for jazz, several for funk and disco, a couple for hip hop and heavy metal as well. So there are more options there. You can do different time signatures. So regardless which tool you choose, they both will be really helpful. And how I recommend you use this and how I use this is often the easiest way to start writing a song with a certain vibe is to improvise and start your songwriting process through improvisation while listening to a drum beat that evokes that vibe. If you want to write a funk song, there's no better way to write a funk song, especially if funk doesn't come naturally to you. You're not really a funk artist generally. You just want to write a song that's kind of funky. The best way for you to do that is to listen to a funk beat because you're not going to write a country sounding song when you're listening to a funk beat, right? That, that may sound obvious, but this is a great hack in order to access different vibes that you can write that maybe don't come as naturally to you. So for me personally, whenever I write catchy songs, this is a huge go-to for me because catchy doesn't really come naturally to me. I'm more of a big melodies, memorable, really emotive type song person. But sometimes I just got to write a song that's more on the catchy side of things and a drum beat is a great way to do that. I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, be sure to check out my free guide on 10 different ways to start writing a song. Link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Go use these tools and I'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.